Hi friends, welcome to another 30 day of inches. Today's challenge is inches on a canvas and so I have this canvas I'm recycling and I'm putting some beautiful color on it. I gessoed it up and you can see a bit of the background. I did a couple layers of um, gesso but it was the brand of um, Artist Loft so I find that doesn't cover too well. And I'm putting this nice pinky color on and it's called Quidacodone Crocodacodone, a magenta, it's a nice magenta. And then I added a vermilion hue, which is this orange, next orange color after this. And the colors together just make this beautiful um, background that just is like on the most prettiest days where you get just a little bit of the sun just making that pinky, orangey color. That's the color it reminds me of, that just mixture right there. So that's what I was going for. For this, and so I use those two colors and that is the um, deco art um, premium in the tubes that I used so I'm just using this huge uh, brush from deco art as well and you can see it's a four inch flat brush it, it makes it easier to um, just get the canvas all done <laughs> nice strokes and I really like it This tree I'm painting, I'm doing it a purpose um, kind of cr uh, crink to it, uh, a little bit of a squareness or whatever to it um, to make it look just a little bit more abstract to something different. And I'm using a black uh, traditions. It's called, actually, I used the raw umber. I didn't even use black. Um, sorry. And I just made that tree out of that. And I just love the color and I love the shape of the tree and I wanted to do a little bit more of a silhouette and that's what I did with it.
as you can see I'm sticking these little squares on these are one inch one inch by uh, one inch by one inch squares inches and I cut them out of scrap uh, card which was little um, cards about for YWAP uh, every year I keep them and I make lots of crafts with them and they're just um, talking about the date and of the the conference and all that kind of stuff and I cut them out to one inch by one inch squares so you you can use uh, inches you decorated you can use inches with mail um, recycle and some recycling these cards they're like little postcards they're postcard size and I decided to put them all over this tree and this is how I'm doing my um, inchy tree I'm putting this paste all over it. So I glued them on with the uh, Aileen's Tacky Glue and I didn't want to use too much um, paste or anything. And then I used a, a matte medium, a matte gel to just put it all around and get the edges in there. And that's what I'm using right now, I think, is the matte gel. Actually, no, I'm using the Gloss Super Heavy Gel, so it's not the matte. I'm using this hot gloss one. And I put that throughout the tree to give it some texture too, to give it, uh, let it lift off the canvas. So I put that all the way around here. And I'm talking on the phone, so with my, my daughter, and I'm having uh, the um, headphones on. And that's what I'm doing. If you see my mouth moving, I'm talking away, chatting. But this is what I'm doing. And I do it to each inchy, and I really like the look and the outcome of that. At this point you see me putting some gold on the um, inches and around and um, that is the uh, gold ore from um, the Decor Premium, the tubes as well and I really like that gold, it looks nice. I love gold, it's one of my favorite colors, if that's, I guess it is a color, I just absolutely love gold on lots of things and um, I wanted to make this kind of a gold, golden piece. So I put it all on my inches really well, but you can still see the um, text on the inches from the the uh, conference, the YWAP, and whatever else they have on the posters, little decorations. And I also put a bit of a dryer, uh, sorry, dryer brush throughout my tree on the trunk and that kind of thing. So then it kind of goes in well. So here's a little bit of a dryer brush through with gold. And now I am putting a little bit of the glass beads 
on there and let me see what it's from. It's that Liquitex glass beads. And just a little bit on my canvas, I mean on my inchy areas, just around a little bit. Give it a little bit more of a different texture, different look. I really like the way it turned out. Um, now I'm putting some matte gel just around all of the tree um, and with a smaller brush just getting some brush strokes in there but not too thick just to get a little bit of brush strokes in there and I want it all to be kind of an even um, look so what I do with that is I do the matte gel around the tree the tree is really high gloss and the inches and then afterwards I spray with a a gloss spray sealer so it's a it's still yet a different gloss so it's it does really suit the canvas well so I want to make sure all what is dull stays dull and even around it not too much gloss around the branches I'm doing now and it really just kind of works well together and then it's like a different gloss but it's a f uh, smoother gloss than the tree itself it's kind of cool it's hard to explain And this is uh, the end result here. I'm just going to flip through it. It's a little bit not dry there. It's still a little wet, but that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi, friends. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have, you can click up here for more videos to watch. And if you want to watch uh, Nikki and myself craft together on International Crafters, there's that logo right there. You can click on that. And if you want to uh, support my, fam uh, my family and my channel, just click that little uh, Patreon button right there. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos and continue watching. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.